Right, there's a there's like loads of questions that I've seen like repeated over and over. And one big one was why didn't you go up for your second run? Um I in the morning, um basically my run would have been a hundred percent complete if I'd done a flip tuck no hand on the last feature, which is a big jump which I just ended up just doing a flip. Um, so I think that could have pulled in a few extra points and then that was me sort of rung out <laughs> like there's nothing nothing left I could have really achieved in our run but I had a massive crash that morning which no one really knows about trying a flip tuck in the hand I over rotated I had to chuck the bike smash my head into the side of the um, of the bank hurt my arm a little bit so so throwing my run away with a flip no hand at the finish um, if I'd have crashed, I'd have been pretty pissed off at, at myself. I just hadn't put enough time or practice into that trick. So I didn't really feel I had much more to give. Knowing, obviously, now in hindsight that I was only 0.4 off of third place is annoying because I should have just put like a one-hander in somewhere or ridden down, ridden down the down the ridge one-handed or something. You know, would have given me 0.4. But um, equally. I'm super happy to be uh, behind Storch and uh, and uh, Van Steenberg. Those guys, those guys' runs were insane, so sick. Very different to ours, but as we said before, there's no right or wrong really, and that's and the judges interpreted it how they did. And yeah. I guess you got to remember, before your second run, we witnessed two big crashes. So yeah, that's yeah. We saw good friend Godzi have a big one, dislocate his wrist. Don't really know what. That apparently his wrist went it went back in but he oh, he's, was, he's fractured a small bone I okay think. he's fractured a bone so I would be super surprised if he didn't or hadn't yeah. and then we saw good friend Sea Dog who had been been hanging out and digging with all and, and, and trained with him before Rampage a bit see him, see him have a huge one and thankfully he's okay as well so just seeing those two things um, a little bit a little bit lame it was also my one year old daughter's birthday <laughs> which was kind of in the back of my head a little bit on that exact day and I just thought I don't know I didn't I didn't have I didn't have an awful lot more to give um I, there was a lot of risk I really didn't want to ride the sh the, um, the uh, battleship again and we were content we were stoked everyone was in good shape and obviously like how it progressed into not getting third was I was majorly not gutted about this like it was a bit like a sinky feeling you know yeah. but uh honestly i think we kicked up enough fuss and had such a good time and we came to do we achieved what we wanted to do and more and we had you know what rad time and we've got loads of crap videos online from it as well yeah on all our channels <laughs> just all boring off but anyway including this one this one so if you're still here we're just going to take a little ad break for uh ollie's hair growth for his beard baby or <laughs> Did you enjoy this clip? If so, please like and subscribe. The full episode is available by hitting one of the links on the screen right now or type the Ride Companion into your favorite podcast app. We've even put links in the show description for you. Cheers.